between a hydropool swim spot and any competitor's swim spot is broken down into five things, basically five things you should be looking for. Number one, you want to buy from a company that's reputable, a company that's been around for a while. We've been around for over 35 years and over 20 years manufacturing swim spas, which makes us one of the oldest and largest swim spa manufacturers in the world. Number two, you want to make sure that your swim spot is easy to maintain. The last thing you want to do is create a headache for you and your family. With the Hydropool Swim Spa, we're the world's only self-cleaning swim spa. That means that we're filtering 100% of the water in only 40 minutes and as it compared, compared to the com swim spa competitors, which take six to eight hours to filter the same amount of water as we do. The beauty is, is that the, basically the swim spa doesn't have to be on as long as the competitors to filter the same amount of water. Now does that make it more energy efficient? Sure it does. The fact that the swim spa doesn't have to be on as long to filter the same amount of water is going to, be the, going to make it more energy efficient. That combined with the thermal shield technology, the fact that we trap the waste heat of the motor and reutilize the waste heat of the motors and the shell to help insulate the, the swim spa makes it one of, if not the most energy efficient swim spa on the market. Finally, you want to make sure that you have different levels of swim for every type of person out there. We have three series of swim spas. We have the Aqua Play, we have the Aqua Sport, and we have the Aqua Trainer. And now we have the Aqua Pro Control that can go with the Aqua Trainer. So basically for any level of swimmer, any level of athlete, we meet their needs. And that's what you need to do when you're looking for swim spas, is make sure that the need that you have is met by your company. The difference between the Hydropool swim and a competitor swim is broken down into four components, as I said. And basically, the thoughts that go into the Hydropool swim are based on trial and error. And over the last 20 years, we've basically done what every competitor out there is doing right now, and we've improved on it. So we don't want to stay static with respect to our evolution of swim. We want to keep moving. So there's four things that go into a swim, and we've figured them out pretty well, I believe. So the first thing is, is make sure you have a balanced hydraulic and a high volume of water for the swimmer. Make sure it's a wide and deep current or wide and deep channel for the swimmer stroke. Number two is make sure that the swim has, a very has very little turbulence in it. So what we've done is we've come up with a proprietary or a, a patented swim fin that allows to chop the vortex down as compared to the competitor, which most competitors out there have a very turbulent swim. The third thing, the big difference between the two is we have an adjustable current that basically the current control simultaneously adjusts the swim on both swim jets versus the competitors which essentially control one or the other. They don't control them simultaneously. In my opinion, it'd be kind of like two gas pedals on a uh, car. It'd be very hard to control a car swerving back and forth if you have two car or gas pedals. Lastly, it's the shell design. The difference between our shell design and the competitor's shell design is that we put elbows into the swim spa, which basically stops the backsplash coming at the swimmer and creates a whirlpool effect down in the swim, sorry, down in the massage area, which creates a fantastic, in fact, it creates the perfect swim. Ease of maintenance is one of the most important things for people when they're buying a swim spa. There's basically five things to look for, and Hydropool has a self-cleaning system that incorporates those five things to make it easy for you to maintain. Number one is we have filtration jets which push debris off the surface of the water towards the wide mouth skimmer. Basically, the benefit of that is that you don't have to skim the surface of the water. Step number two is we have a wide mouth skimmer with a pre-filter in there. So any sticks, um, uh, leaves, any large debris that's light enough to float on the surface gets trapped in that pre-filter, allowing you to clean the surface area without having to skim it. Step number three 
are our floor filtration jets. And basically any of the debris that's light enough, sorry, heavy enough to drop to the bottom gets pushed along the floor of the swim spot towards the floor vacuum, which is step number four. Basically the floor vacuum cleans any of the debris off the base. And the benefit to you, the customer, is you don't have to vacuum the bottom of the swim spa, which on any swim spa out there other than Hydrable, you're gonna have to do. Number five is the top load, easy access, pressurized filtration system. That's the system that ties kind of everything together. So any of the water and the debris that is pulled off the surface area of the water and any of the water and debris that's pulled off the base gets pushed through this filter instead of being pulled through the filter. The benefit to you, the customer, is, is that it filters 100% of the water in only 40 minutes compared to any competitor out there which takes six to eight hours to filter the same amount of water. The ultimate benefit too is that you never have to vacuum the bottom of the, uh, of the swim spa. Ultimately creating time for what matters, which is spending time with family and friends versus cleaning. The versatility of the Hydropool swim spa versus any other swim spa is night and day. The amount of exercises that you can do in a Hydropool self-cleaning swim spa is incredible. You have an exercise kit that can come with it, you have a rowing kit that can come with it. In fact, it has two tether spots, two anchors for tethers, where you can run against the elasticity of the tether, or you can attach to the other end and have, a kid, have, your, have any kid, or any adult for that matter if they want to, have some fun and attach their boogie board to it and create a wave pool inside the swim spa. The versatility is fantastic on any Hydropool swim spa. The difference between the Hydropool self-cleaning swim spa's pump and hydraulic design versus the competitors is a, is a very large difference. So one of the things that we realized is that pumps throw water vertically. So what we did was we positioned our, our output of our pumps to, nine, to 12 o'clock, basically eliminating a lot of the restriction of flow. Second thing we did was we realized that the pumps have to be as close to the swim jets as possible. So we've moved ours as close as possible. Third thing is, the less restriction possible, the better. So what we did was we've changed our 90 degree elbows to what's called a sweep 90. So our two and a half inch plumbing delivers a very large flow of water to the swim jet with as least amount of restrictions as possible. Finally, the last thing that we did on our swim spas, on our pump and hydraulic design, was we realized that the pump system needs to be almost a conveyor belt. So essentially the water that's being pushed out of the swim jet needs to be caught, there needs to be a throw and a catch. So what we did was we positioned the suctions towards the step end of the swim spa, essentially creating that conveyor belt technology that delivers the water back to the swim jets and essentially eliminates a lot of the turbulence that other competitors see. So over years of, of, of design and engineering, we've perfected, or at least we feel that we've perfected the swim uh, coming out of the jets. And one of the things that we realized when we first designed our jetting system was that we had a fire hose style jet, and that delivered a lot of air into the system and created a lot of turbulence for the swimmer. So the first thing we did was we eliminated the air. Next thing we did was we, we looked at the delivery of water coming out of that swim jet. And a round fire hose jet is, is extremely difficult to swim against. It's almost like swimming on a log. You're gonna fall off of one side or the other. So what we did was we slowly started to develop a wide stream or a proprietary wide stream nozzle that delivers water in a very high volume of water um, in a very wide stream. Now the problem that we had was even though we delivered that, the water was still spitting like crazy as it came out of the pipe. And what it was doing in the swim area was creating a large vortex of water, huge turbulence. So what we did was we, we went back to the drawing board and we developed a swim fin system that essentially shreds the vortex as it comes out of the jet, delivering a nice, flat, even keel swim right across the surface of the water. And that's the big difference between our swim and the competitors when it comes to the swim jet. The ability to control the resistance or control the speed of a swim is critical to any swim. Uh, basically the idea is the, to be able to dial in the swim level is, is important for any swimmer who walks into a uh, swim spa. So what we've done with the Hydropool swim spa is with our Aquaflex technology is we've created uh, basically a delivery of water that simultaneously delivers 
uh, water to the two wide stream jets as opposed to independently um, having the water come through this jet and this jet. I guess the best analogy would be if you had t uh, you know, a car with two gas pedals, it would be very difficult co to control the car going straight if you had to even out the two gas pedals. With the Hydropool swim, su swim Spa system or the Aquaflex system, it delivers it simultaneously to both at a very even, exact pace. The Hydropool Thermal Shield technology, the, the insulation that goes into our swim spas, is really based on a heat transfer system or a, a convection of it, if you will. So uh, the first thing is, is that you want to make sure you have a good hard cover that insulates off the surface. If you remember back when you were a kid, you know, first thing mom and dad said was put your hat on and that's kind of what you want to do with the swim spa to trap any of the waste heat that's coming out of the top of the surface. Second thing you want to do is you want to insulate your shell. So what we do at Hydropool is we blow a two pound closed cell foam all the way around the shell and that traps the waste heat from the shell and regenerates it into the water. Next thing we do is we put a thermal shield blanket on the inside of the cabinet. Now, the best way, to, the best analogy that I have is um, it, it's like a NASA space suit. Basically, it's trapping the waste heat from the motors and regenerating it and putting it back into the swim spa. The last thing is, is the, the thermal vents. And, and quite honestly, it's probably one of the easiest thing to do on a swim spa and a lot of the competitors don't. In fact, no one does it. And they're adjustable thermal vents. So in the summertime, when it gets real hot, you want to allow that heat to escape from that cabinet area. In the wintertime, you want to close it down and trap that waste heat so that it's more energy efficient. The beauty of the Hydropool swim spa is it'll cost you pennies a day to run. The Hydropool Swim Spa, the, the comfort in the design of the Hydropool Swim Spa is really important for the swimmer um, from the swim side of things as well as from the massage side of things. So on every single one of our swim spas, with the exception of one, which has got no seats in it whatsoever, all of them have at least two seats. We have models with two seats, we have models with three, we have models with four, we have models with five in there for that matter. The important thing to understand is to make sure that the jets are recessed, you've got enough area for most people to sit without feeling intimidated by the water, and you know what, you want to make sure that it has a good massage too. When you sit back after your workout, it has a good hydrotherapy massage. So on a swim spa, generally speaking, there's a couple of areas of body that you want to hit for massage, and Hydropool looks at it from a little bit different aspect. Um, we actually utilize the, the the massage side of things a little bit differently. So first of all, on a massage, you want to make sure that the, the flow of water is balanced. So we have balanced hydraulics delivering equal amount of flow to every single one of the jets. Number two, you want to make sure the jets are adjustable so that you can have more pressure in your lower back or in your upper back. All of them need to be adjustable. The last thing is with the Hydropool Swim Spa, it's a little bit different. We actually have thigh jets or, or glute jets there as well, which is very different than the competitors. So they're a standing jet. So as someone works out after their exercise, if they want to massage their glutes or they want to massage their hamstrings, we actually have a thigh jet positioned on the sidewall. So as you stand, it gets those large muscles as well. So having a massage is absolutely critical in, or a good massage is absolutely critical in any swim spa. So in comparison to most swim spas out there, the Hydropool Self-Cleaning Swim Spa shell design um, has some outcrops or some hips to it, if you will. Um, it was something we actually learned by chance. Um, we had put in our, uh, our filter and our ice bucket and what was happening was, it was very interesting. It's like, kind of like standing on, the, on a break wall in, a, uh, in an ocean or a, a lake. Basically what happens is that water hits a break wall, it goes right back out into the ocean. That's similar to what happened with our swim spas when we had that, you know, kind of open channel design or a rectangular design. Basically what was happening was water was coming in, hitting the break wall, which is the back of the swim spa, and then going over top of the swimmer, kicking them out of their lanes. By putting in the hips to the swim spa, essentially what it does is it breaks up that current and stops the backsplash by creating eddies or whirlpools in the seated area. Very cool and it actually makes a fantastic swim. 
Buying from a company that has a fantastic reputation is probably one of the most important things when buying any product for that matter. You want to make sure that the company's been in business, the dealers have been in business for a while, and they have the support to back up their product. Hydropool's been around for over 35 years. We've been making swim spas for over 20 years, which is incredible. We're the, one of the largest and oldest swim spa manufacturers in the world. So make sure that you have someone who A, can service your product, B, has the factory and the reputation to back them up. The fact that the Hydropool Swim Spa is a self-cleaning swim spa basically means it doesn't have to be on as long as a competitor to filter the same amount of water. But that being said, the efficiency of the self-cleaning system essentially takes the headaches and the worries away from maintaining your swim spa, ultimately creating time for what you and your family want to do, which is swim, relax, and have fun. To learn more about what exactly to look for when buying a swim spa, download our Buyer's Guide and Buyer's Guide Checklist at hydropoolswimspas.com forward slash buyer's guide.